we're having issues here. And every time I go to shut off my air conditioning, areas in my house, the power goes out. And I have some force field or energy or aura that things break with me. I don't want to. This room is a disaster. It wasn't about, you know, yesterday. I don't want to do it. I don't want to. It's, I don't know what time it is, but it's getting late. Okay, I'll watch a little more TV and then we'll get to work. <laughs> you know, yeah, she found the Costco. We were trying to hide the Costco from her. <laughs> I, I don't think grandma wants it. It's good for um, pranks. pranks. Oh, what's okay. that? What just came out of it? What? Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Danny Rearranged YouTube channel. Welcome if you are new. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. This video took a hot minute to finish. This is one of the longest videos I've ever done. This took well over a week to finish. This is a whole house clean, declutter, and organize. We're doing all of the things. I even do a little bit of restocking. I also went from unmotivated to motivated to, no, no, wait. From motivated to unmotivated to motivated again. I hit a wall in today's video. We're gonna get into it. So if you're feeling unmotivated, please stick around for today's video. I, I hope that this gives you all of the motivation that you need. We're gonna get into a lot of fun things in today's video. It's gonna be a fun video. It's gonna be a good time. Sorry, my phone is going off. Uh, also, no, there was something else I was gonna say. Oh, geez, what was I gonna say? Oh, my house is breaking. We'll get into that too. I know. <laughs> I know. It's been a rough, been a rough couple weeks. <laughs> no excuse. No excuse. But if I had one, I have actually about 10 of them. But no excuses. This is, there's no excuses. But no. Yeah. I, it's, but. <laughs> Oh jeez. Oh jeepers. Okay, I'm gonna get my hair up. I probably should change my shirt. I feel like this is a little inappropriate. <laughs> you know what? I just tucked my shirt into my bra, so. Right? It's fine. See? Tuck the shirt right in there. Just like that. Because it's hot. It's so hot. It's so hot. I, okay, I'm, I'm gonna go change. My mom bought me a lifetime supplies of, um, this thing's heavy, uh, uh, tin foil. I don't know what it is about tin foil, her giving me tin foil and um, uh, saran wrap. She found uh, the Costco and she's a member now. A problem. It's probably a problem, but that's okay. <laughs> you know, yeah. She found the Costco. We were trying to hide the Costco from her, <laughs> but um, it didn't work. Good news is, the rest of the house is not bad. I swear, I swear. Oops. It's well. I mean, it's not great, but it's not bad. The kitchen is legitimately the worst room out of the whole house. The rest of the house isn't that bad. I need to redo my hair. Let's get some smells. Um, I got uh, why I have so many utility lighters. Uh, Ian thought that it would be a good idea. Uh, who knows? I don't know what he. I don't. I don't know what he's trying. I don't know what he's trying to light on fire. But ooh, let's go with the orange one. Is it, is there, is it got a child lock on it? I'm gonna go light, uh, about, oh, this is not necessary. That's not necessary. That's, no, that's very unnecessary. I'm gonna do the orange one. I'm gravitating towards that one. 
Oh, see, there we go. See, this is, th that thing is not something I should be playing with. Okay. Well, I'm not playing with it. Stop talking. Okay. Okay. Uh, I have a lifetime supplies of grapeseed oil. I have a lifetime supply of uh, Cascade Complete uh, dish tablets. So these are all fantastic. I got some noodles, some popcorn. Um, oh, and a lifetime supply of toilet paper because I'm almost out of toilet paper. I think I have like two or three rolls, but now I will be good for life. Well, no, <laughs> I mean, clearly not for life. Oh my gosh, I keep hitting that. Okay, let's just keep going. Oh, definitely getting my gloves. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> this is going to be quite the video. Really went with the deep Minnesota accent right there. Oh, yes, they did. Oh, yes, they did. Uh, this video took me about a week to finish. I just couldn't stop filming unless I was, uh, until I felt satisfied with everything that I did. This is a whole house, clean, declutter, organize. We bounce all over the place. If you've been with me for a while, you know I love to bounce all over the place, but even though I bounce all over the place, I get the job done. I swear, I think we head back into the kitchen five separate times. This went on for days. I don't know how many days. <laughs> Watch this part here. I drop most of the... <laughs> what are you doing? Why don't you just do that? Okay, I'll be right back. This is the larger one. Oh, for crying out loud. Okay. Put dish pods, more of the dish pods in the big one. There we go. There we go. Okay. So that way I got a whole, you know, and this is the only reason why I do this, because I know we have this, is because it's just easily accessible. This is going to go in the overflow section, which we're gonna talk about the overflow section in today's video. So, yes, this is gonna go in the overflow section. Oh. Okay, where is it? Okay. A long time ago on my channel, and for whatever reason, my right ear is plugged up, and I don't know why. My jaw cracks because I used to have locked jaw. <clears throat> Anywho, I got this You Betcha mug long time ago. Long time ago. And of course, something about me and mugs, it's really annoying to talk. That's like bugging me. Something about me and mugs break. Mugs break on me. All mugs break on me. This one was no exception, but this was my favorite. This was my You Betcha mug. The handle, we, we to this day have no idea where the handle went. I went to grab it out of the cupboard, cabinet. I've never said cupboard before. Yes, you have. And the handle was gone. It disappeared into thin air. Paranormal, perhaps. Unlikely, perhaps. I got nothing else. But anyway, and I found this at a little, the same shop that I found this at, and look at it. Does that mean that I have to get rid of this one? Ooh. Mm. I guess so, huh? But I don't want you. It was my first You Betcha mug. There's sentimental value to it. It's broke. So, think about that. I am thinking about that. I could have two, one with the handle and one without it. But it doesn't look right without the handle. You could find a handle. Where are you gonna find a handle? This one's better. My new one is better. The, look at, the You Betcha is way better. Can you see the difference? Look at it. It's like, it's, yeah, this one, we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and let this go. <laughs> this is hard. 
Is it really though? Come on. Anyway, new mug. It was $7.98. Worth every penny. I gotta wash it first. Okay, so this is going to, maybe. We don't know yet. We haven't decided. It's going, we don't know. This is a real life whole house declutter clean organize it's it is my real life i swear to you every video you watch of mine everything on my channel it is truly me this is me i don't sugarcoat anything this is my real life i will never show anything but my real life and it wasn't that my house was such a disaster because my house really wasn't that bad there were areas like the kitchen it wasn't that it was so bad. It was the fact that I had so much that I just had to get done. And later on in today's video, you're gonna see me hit a wall. I lose the motivation. And we're gonna get into that. We're gonna talk about that. Uh, so we'll, we'll get into that a little later on. We really are going to bounce all over the place in today's video, like one thing to the next. But we do get the whole house completed, but we're gonna bounce around. Uh, I'm going to talk about these meal prepping glass containers. Uh, I'm going to start meal prepping. I'm going to get serious about it. I don't have anything like this, so I wanted to order some of these. These are super nice. We're going to talk more about these and meal prepping a little later on. But I wanted to mention that uh, I do like to soak my microfiber cloths and my pot holders in warm water, dish soap, baking soda, and vinegar. I also do the same thing with those pillows, specifically those pillows. I know I say pillows funny. Now with the microfiber cloths and the pot holders, those go in the wash, but the pillows I let air dry. We moved uh, most of her toys back into her bedroom because it's getting really hot in the four season. There is some toys in the one cabinet in the four season, but most of it was brought back in here. Now, Zoe had a birthday not too long ago, and usually after birthdays and Christmas, usually after birthdays and Christmas, we go through any toys that we don't want because so many family and friends get you and Lucas stuff for Christmas and birthdays. So we can now start, like this is, you got this, this is new. I can't turn on the light because our power is Lead going out. in certain areas of the house. Yeah. So that's fun. <laughs> Here, how about let me introduce my toy? Oh, well, hold on, hold on. Oh, come on. <laughs> Before we continue, I did want to mention that with this room, with Zoe's room and the entryway closet, we're going to kind of move a little quickly. Uh, through those areas because there's so much that we're doing in today's is this video. Is something we're keeping? Really? Because I never see you use it. You. Okay, so yes. let's get this out of the way. Just oh. like that. That's okay, I gotta fix that door. Anyway. Yeah, that, bro that door bro. Okay, here's the deal. Can we please get rid of this? Give it back to Grandma. I, I don't think Grandma wants it. Well, it's, it, it's, it's, <laughs> it's good for, um, pranks, 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 though. True, true. Because you scared yourself when you put it somewhere. I did. How did you, how would you do that? I don't know. I'm a jumpy, I'm very it jumpy. Be, it, I can explain, I am too. I'm, we're jump. Oh, oh what's oh. that? What just came out of it? What? No, I'm serious. What was that? Oh, you're jumpy. It's the bell. Where is it? Where? Let me see. It was like it was seriously. It was sticking halfway out. Where? Let me see. See the see the hole right there? Oh. Well, there's a bell here. There's a oh. hole. I, okay. There's a bell and it started popping out. Yeah, the bell started popping out. I don't like it. Okay, so we can get rid of it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so thank you. Well, can I introduce my toys and their names? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, that's our groceries. 
Yeah, so one. basically what I'm doing is holding up the item, asking her if this is something she wants to keep, is this something she wants to let go of. If she's stumped on something, we have a maybe pile just so we don't get stuck in the purging process. The next time that I go through her stuff, the next time we go through toys, what I'm gonna do is take all of the toys that I know are her favorite, the toys that I know she won't part with, and just put those to the side just to make the decluttering process go a little bit quicker. Uh, but she did a fantastic job. I also just noticed she's wearing mismatched. The socks. lights came back on. <laughs> yeah. Yay. Yeah. Our house is falling apart. It's it, it is an old house. It's falling apart now. It's it's an old house and we need to get an electrician back okay. in here. There we go. Cause I gotta there. All right. Now I gotta. All right, I can kind of go through the rest of this. I don't know if you guys know what this horse was. I didn't say her name, I don't think so. This is Rosie, or I may be saying it wrong, or it's another name. If I did say a name, I do forget their name sometimes. But this is one of my second least favorites because she doesn't stand up that good. I wish I could show you, but my mask. That, um, in my room. So yeah, um, I can't put the camera. And another camera, um, man or girl, because she doesn't have one. She has a stamp. When it comes to Ian, my husband, his stuff, the kids' stuff, my mom's stuff, my father-in-law's stuff, whoever's stuff, I'm helping them declutter. They make the final decisions on everything. I don't make those decisions for them because I don't know what's important to them and what, what is and what's not important to them. So they make the final decisions on everything. I was really surprised by the amount of stuff that she let go of and how quickly it, it, how quickly this went. She was very decisive. She knew exactly what she wanted and exactly what she didn't want. Are you keeping this dinosaur thing? Zoe? How about this fence? Do you know that this was Easter decor? I don't want to keep it anymore. You don't? It was from Zoe the artist. I'm going to get rid of this though. Right? Yeah. Um, are you keeping, where'd you get, oh, that's right. I forgot. Yeah. Okay. Um, are you keeping this one, Zoe? It was? Yeah. Oh, okay. That was. I know. Wasn't it? I think so, yeah. I think it was. Um, out of all these little toys, sweetie. All of them. You're keeping them all? No, not keeping them all. You're not. Get rid of that saddle, though. The what? The blue saddle. The blue saddle? It came with the, um, the horse. Okay, so like, all right. It's a lot, this is a, a lot of little toys, which is fine. So, um, you're talking about this blue saddle? Yeah. Okay. How about this rolling pin? I don't even know where that came from. Okay. It's Play-Doh. Oh, that's a Play-Doh maker. It's Play-Doh. Okay. Yeah, How about this little bathtub? It's not even a bathtub. And this like little bottle of perfume. Can you get rid of the perfume that isn't the bathtub? Oh, it's okay. a bathtub. That's a bed, Mom! Oh, a bed! bed. It looks, okay. <laughs> it's a bed. <laughs> Oh my gosh, my kids are so funny. Oh my gosh, they are so funny. Oh, I think that, oh, by the way, this is where the rest of her toys are. This is where most all of her toys were, but it's really hot in this room. We don't have uh, vents in this room. This is what we call the four season. It's, it's just an addition. It's just an enclosed porch. So the only thing we have in here is a fireplace. Uh, which isn't working. It hasn't worked since winter. Yep. Uh, because everything keeps breaking. We'll talk about that as well. But um, I think as my kids have gotten older, decluttering has become easier and easier. I think that the decision making has become much easier for them.
All right, moving on to the next area because we're bouncing all over the place. I had to go through this entryway closet. This entryway closet uh, at one point for a while was my command center. And I really loved having a command center. Oh God, that's a bee. Is that a bee? What the hell is that? Sorry about that. I had to pause for a moment. That was just a really large fly. Anywho, um, Eventually, I'm going to have a command center again. Uh, it just won't be in this entryway closet. My husband and I don't have a very large closet. We barely have a closet. So we needed this closet for our shoes, coats, jackets, winter gear, stuff like that. I can use this one for plastic bags. Plastic bags can go in here. Perfect. Stuffing. That stuffing is for the couch. I have to restuff the couch eventually. I didn't do that in today's video, but uh, the kids, both the kids, their closets are quite large and they have plenty of space for all of their shoes, winter gear, coats, things like that. But Ian and I definitely don't have enough space. So eventually I will have a command center again. It just won't be in the entryway closet. So basically what I'm doing here is separating all of our winter gear. Uh, so the, the kids have their own bucket full of mittens, hats, things like that. And then Ian and I have a bucket for mittens and hats. Uh, and then, uh, Ian and I's bucket will go into the entryway closet and then the kids' buckets will go into their closet. These were some of the gloves that didn't have a match. And then that other bag was additional uh, winter gear that was donated, uh, gloves and stuff that we're not using. This closet really wasn't that bad. It just needed, I just had to go through it really quickly. It looked a lot worse than what it was. It just needed to be picked up and organized. It looks a lot better than it did before. Uh, this is an odd closet, so it's kind of hard to keep it looking nice. I have to take the time to go through it periodically. But after this is when I hit my wall. I don't want to. This room is a disaster. It wasn't about, you know, yesterday. It's like 80 degrees in here. I have zero motivation right now. Ooh. Oh. Why are there so many blankets on this bed? It's Ian. It's Ian. I don't want to. It's... I don't know what time it is, but it's getting late, and I still have so much to do. It's so hot. Okay, I'll watch a little more TV and then we'll get to work. But I'm not going to feel like doing this tomorrow. You know for a fact you're not going to want to do what you have to do tomorrow. You might as well just get it done now. So then you don't have to do it tomorrow. Because you keep pushing this stuff off. And you got to go through that paperwork. I don't know what you've been doing. Why have you been pushing that off? I don't know. I just don't want to deal with it. You need to deal with it. You need to stop procrastinating. Where's that schedule still? don't have one no you're laying here watching tv you could be taking the time to do that but are you no <laughs> yeah i'm gonna watch a little more tv just a little bit all these women look so normal it's just not how i roll i'm not doing normal sorry can't do it Maybe you should try. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Buckets. This has got to be a. This has. This has to be a joke. This. And I'm sure I talked about it in the voiceover, but the main hallway, uh, the entryway hallway, this hallway right here, the bathroom, and areas in the kitchen are not working they're they're working why am i so glossy they're working right now because all day today they've been going in and out if we use the dryer the wash machine the oven 
the microwave, it it'll take it, it's like it's drawing too much power and those areas will completely shut down. Anything else? I mean, I didn't even want to get up and do anything, but I forced myself up. I didn't even get to watch any cleaning motivation because I was busy yelling at myself. It is. It is, it's 7.21 at night. I forgot to take my estrogen. I think I did, oh crap, I gotta take that. Hold on. My phone died and I turned it back on. Oh, you weren't supposed to look at my kitchen yet. Because I was gonna show you what the kitchen looks like. A couple, this is not what it looked like yesterday. It was better. It was good. It's not. It's not anymore. I give up. I, you know what? Whatever. Whatever. I don't even care. I do care. It's driving me nuts. Okay. Set timer for three hours. Okay, three hours. Starting now. And uh, that'll be about 10.30, and we're gonna go till then. I don't know what that was. All right. Okay, you ready for this? I am going to hit my garbage disposal. You ready? Yep. And just to prove to you, I don't even know if I can use my dishwasher. Are you ready? Watch the light over there. Okay, I'm gonna flip it. What? Why? Why? We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> okay. <sighs> okay. Okay. <laughs> a little backstory. Uh, there's a lot going on. Uh, okay, let's go back to last year. Last summer, spring, we started working on our house. So we had to replace the roof. We had to, we also replaced the siding. And I feel like ever since then, we have, it's been one thing after the next, like things just keep going wrong. Uh, and if you've been with me for a while, you know that I have tech technical issues. Uh, I can't tell you how many times I've had issues uploading uh, issues with downloading. I mean, just technical difficulties. Uh, I, I have said a thousand times before that anything electronic or technical hates me, whether it's computers, TVs, phones, cars, you name it. I've always had issues with them. I don't know why. I don't know if I have some sort of aura that is poop brown. I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. And what's crazy is that I I don't think I have a poop brown aura. And the reason why I say that is because I am a, I am a half glass full type of gal. That's, that's me. I always, I'm always grateful no matter what. I am grateful for literally everything in my life. Gratitude is huge with me. I'm very grateful. Uh, I, 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 I have a very positive outlook. Um, I know that I've talked about it in the past. I've talked about some issues that I have with anxiety, but uh, I have worked really hard on that. And I, I, but even even with all of that, because you know life is hard. We we go through. We, we're going to go through ups and downs. Uh, you know, life is not. You, you're not going to get through this life without trial, error, heartache, pain, sadness, sorrow. I mean, these are just things that it's going to happen. And, you know, even though everything that I've been through in my life, I always look at the positive. I look at the positive. I try to find the positive. So I, I don't think that I have a poop brown aura. I don't know what I have. 
but I feel like it's me. <laughs> Although, I don't know, maybe it's not. Maybe it's ever since they started working on my house. Just, it feels like one thing after the next. My fireplace went out in the dead of winter. Now my AC doesn't work in the middle of summer. Uh, it, what's happening is, is I'll tell you the story. So at 3.30 in the morning about a week ago, I don't know, something like that. My days are all mixed up. <laughs> I can't keep track. I woke up at 3.30 in the morning to go to the bathroom. To go to the bathroom i leave the bathroom and all of a sudden the lights in the hallway and the bathroom shut off by themselves i thought we lost power but then ian rolled over the remote in our bedroom and the tv went on so i was like well wait a minute what so then i realized that there was just certain areas in the house where we didn't have power okay i go into the living room i go to press the the thermostat and uh, all and all of a sudden my AC was on 70 and all of a sudden uh, things pop back on. But I still cannot, now this is the crazy thing. The AC unit is not working, but if I shut it off or, or, or put it below 70, areas like the, uh, the hallways, the bathroom, I think a couple of other areas, they shut down, they shut off. So I can't touch the thermostat. <laughs> I just realized I'm saying, I'm saying therm, thermostat and it's ther, thermostat, right? <laughs> How do you say it? I think it's thermostat, but I'm saying thermostat. <laughs> I just make up words. Okay, I'm going to continue. I just realized that. Uh, I can't, and no matter what I do, I can't use my, my wash machine, my dryer, the stove, the microwave, the garbage disposal. They're working, but they're working half capacity. It's like they're not getting enough electricity, enough juice, enough power. It's been a nightmare. So about two weeks ago, we had an electrician come out here and uh, he was he was concerned. The reason why he initially came out here is because when they did work on our siding, something happened with the two outlets in the front of our house and the city came out and said you know the inspector or whatever came out and said i don't like this your contractor needs to come out here and fix this so then my contractor you know must have subcontracted an electrician to come out and fix it and it seemed like it worked well then a week later this crap started happening you know the the, the 3 30 in the morning everything shut off started happening my appliances stopped working so I have, I, I am in contact with an electrician. He's coming out this week. Hopefully we can get this figured out, but we got to get this done. But you know, in the meantime, you know, before any of this started happening, I hope, I, I hope I'm not being very confusing because I, I am, I am horrible at explaining things, but you know, prior to uh, the electricity going out, you know, we had to get a new refrigerator, a new dishwasher, because both of those crapped out at the same time. We had to get all new tires on the on the vehicle because that had to get done. It has literally been one thing after the next. That's my comforter <laughs> on four chairs. Yeah, Cleo likes to go in there. She thinks it's fun. <laughs> I... Uh, have a different opinion. But the thing is, I can't use my dryer or my wash machine. So I went to put my, cause I had had to wash my comforter. Could not get it to wash. Thank goodness I just put baking soda and Lysol laundry detergent, that Lysol stuff. Uh, that's all I put in there. And um, I put it on hot water to soak and then, you know, rinse and spin. Well, when it was done, it was sitting, the, half the tub was full of water because I'm not getting enough power to use the wash machine. So what I had to do was hit the spin, drain and spin cycle four separate times to drain it. It was still wet, threw it outside, wasn't drying, put it in here. It's been sitting in here since yesterday. It's finally, is it dry? I think it's finally dry. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes things happen to me. <laughs> oh. So Ian, my husband, if you're new here, is convinced 
that I have some force field or energy or aura that things break with me. It's me. Yeah. <laughs> we are bouncing. We are, we've been bouncing all over the place. Yes, we have. <laughs> But we do get the job done. We get it done. I'm in the bathroom now. I'm also going to take a break halfway into cleaning the bathroom uh, to go throw baking soda on the couch and the rugs. Uh, before I vacuum up the, the baking soda, I like to let it sit for a long time, like hours, so it really soaks up all the odors. I really need to get um, some kind of machinery. <laughs> to wash the couch, the rugs, the beds. Uh, I really should invest in one of those. If you know of a good, you know, what the, what are they called? Why am I drawing a blank on this? You know, like a, it's like a vacuum, but it washes at the same time. What is it called? Anyway, if you know of a good one, uh, let me know because uh, I would like to invest in one. There's a lot of things that I could clean with one of those, but I really need to deep clean the rugs, the, the mattresses, the couch, but the baking soda really sucks up those odors. So, and then I go back into the bathroom, but, uh, yeah, I hit a wall <laughs> in today's video. Uh, the moment that I figured out that my garbage disposal was a not working and B shutting down parts of my home when I turned it on, it was like, nope, screw it. I'm going back to bed. And you know what? Sometimes you just need to do that. There are absolutely times in life where the home is just not priority. The cleaning, the decluttering, the organizing, the, it's just, it's not, it's not priority. Now for me, I will not take prolonged periods of time, uh, pushing those things off because what I've noticed is that when the house is a disaster, when my house is flipped upside down, I got a lot of stuff I got to get done. All it does is adds to, uh, the stress. It, it just adds on to the stress. And I feel much better when my home is picked up. It's tidy. It's, it's not cluttered, but there are times where I do need to take a step back, just, you know, have time for myself, uh, spend time with family and friends, just enjoy life, put everything else to the side, just enjoy life and take that time. Because I notice that when I don't take that time, if I don't prioritize that time and I just keep going, I actually just, I stop more, I get lost more. Uh, it prolongs the the cleaning and organizing and decluttering that I got to do. It just prolongs it because I'm drained. I'm at a I'm at a max. So I I I don't I do take that time, but I don't take too much time. And when I just relax that night and I didn't do anything, the next day I was ready to go. It motivated me. A lot of times, what I do, you know, when I feel like I got a lot of weight on my shoulders and sometimes it feels like I just can't get myself from out from underneath it. I like to step outside. These are cabin towels. Uh, okay, hold on. Cause these are extra towels that my mom gave me. <laughs> these are very nice. I don't like them, but Ian loves them. My mom, gave these to Ian. I think there's one more. Yeah, there's a purple one. And they each came with a hand towel. So there's four four bath towels, four hand towels. The hand towels are really cute. It's a teal, a dark blue, a yellow, and a purple. And the purple looks like this. So then there's a purple bath towel. And then here's a like a teal one. And then the yellow one, which I'm going to put out. Um, <clears throat> and uh, because Ian doesn't like the towels, because I have all white bath towels. Um, I got a bunch of them from Amazon a long time ago. I love those ones. But he doesn't. So my mom got, <laughs> got him a set of these with hand towels, and he loves these. So these are here for him. And then 
We have extra towels, extra blank, extra blankets, extra towels go under here, but I have, okay, so like right here. So like, here's a new one that Zoe got for her birthday. Um, these right here are all beach towels and towels that we bring up to the cabin. So I usually keep these on the bottom shelf. So I'll have to like kind of reorganize that. Running low on bath bombs, but that's okay. Put those up there. And then first aid. There's something about being in nature. I think that's why I love being at the cabin so much. There's something about being out in nature, you know, getting away from social media, getting away from the phone, the computer, just putting the electronics away, sitting outside. There's something about being out in nature that is relaxing, it's calming, it's a different mood, it's a different realm. And I'll sit there and just clear my mind or dwell on the things that I'm grateful for. I have so many things to be grateful for. I have two amazing, wonderful, happy, healthy kids. I have just an amazing husband. He's such a, he's such a great husband, such a great father. He's an amazing provider. He has a work ethic, like unbelievable work ethic. Uh, I have, you know, amazing family and friends. I have two fur babies, my cat Cleo, my dog Mia that I just adore. I have a car that I'm able to drive in, a roof over my head, food on the table, clothes on my back. I have, I am very blessed, very, very blessed. And I'm so grateful. I have so many things to be grateful for. And when I sit and preferably write those things down, but even just sitting out in nature, clearing my head or dwelling on those things, it really grounds me. It really puts things into perspective and it propels me to move forward and it motivates me. same day I just got hot I'll never retire this shirt <laughs> I love it okay keep going and sometimes you just you know if you can't find a space outside find an area that is just relaxing for you where you can take that time to just rejuvenate and recuperate uh, because that's important and I was ready to go the next day. I, I went for days on end after that. Anywho, I should probably, <laughs> I should probably play some music. Uh, I, I don't usually play a whole lot of music in my videos. I talk more than anything. Uh, I mean, I'll play instrumental music in the background, uh, you know, music with no lyrics in the background or when I'm doing stuff. I don't mind doing that. Uh, but I don't really play a whole lot of songs on my channel in my videos. Uh, I, I talk too much. I'll talk to a wall. I also have received way more comments stating that you prefer the talking over the music, which makes my heart so happy because I absolutely love talking. I love talking to all of you and just sharing things and just talking. <laughs> Seriously, I will talk to a wall, but uh, I feel like sometimes when my videos are super long, like this one's going to be really long, uh, I'll throw in a song here and there. Even some of my long, long videos, I don't even play music. I'll forget to because I talk to it so much. Uh, but, you know, I use Epidemic Sound. I think a lot of YouTubers use Epidemic Sound. I think that's probably, well, it's the only place I know of that has... Uh, Decent music. Uh, I can't tell you how many hours, hours over a span of two years, hours uh, searching for 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 good music. Uh, I I I like the songs that I pick. I know that they're not everybody's cup of tea. You know, no matter what music I pick, it's not gonna it's not gonna appeal to everybody. It's not gonna be you know everybody's favorite. I t I totally totally get that. Uh, but I'm sure listening to me talk through a half hour, 45 minute, hour long video isn't everybody's cup of tea either. <laughs> so 
Uh, I don't know. Maybe I should, uh, maybe we'll do one. We'll just do one song in today's video because I got a lot to go over. So we'll, we'll, we'll play some music. And a lot of times I don't even play the whole song because I get antsy and it's too long of a period of time without me saying stuff. I wanted to mention this really quickly uh, with the bathtub. The bathtub is not dirty, the bottom of the bathtub. It's just stained from all the DIY projects that I've done. It's a long story, but it's not dirty, it's just stained. I gotta figure out how to get all that up off of the tub. Also, I have to get a new shower curtain. I've washed the shower curtain, but the bottom still, it's like stained. So I thought I would use the pink stuff to scrub the bottom of the shower curtain. Oh my gosh, it did a fantastic job cleaning it. Okay, I just came back from over at Epidemic Sound. That didn't make sense. I was on the site. And on the site, I have a playlist that I created. It's called My Favorites. And uh, I have had this playlist for years now and I keep all of my favorite songs in this playlist. And these are the songs that I usually use most of the time. Uh, there's like 150 songs and usually those are my go-to songs. So, uh, and I don't play a lot of music, so I feel like that's a good amount of songs to use periodically. But there are times where I'll go on Epidemic Sound and see if I can find something new. Like I'll periodically listen to new songs, but whatever, not the point. So <laughs> there's a song uh, that I use. It's my theme song. It's like almost become my my intro song. You know, uh, this this song. I've been using this song a lot in my intros, and I love it. I love the beat. I love the. I love it. But I had no idea that this song uh, has lyrics because some songs are just instrumental. When you go onto Epidemic Sound. There's no vocals to it, it's just instrumental. That's what I thought this one was. I thought it was just instrumental. I think it's called Cry When It's Over, but I found the lyrics. It's okay, it's fine. You wanna listen, should we play that? I'll just play half of it. That'll be our song for today. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Hopefully you liked it. I I just played a little bit of it, but I had no idea that that song had lyrics. So I thought I would share because pretty sure, well, I haven't finished the intro for this video yet. Uh, at the time I'm doing this voiceover, I'm still editing it. So I'll, I'm sure, well, I'll definitely be using that in the beginning of the intro. I think that's going to be my intro song. It's just, I'm just using the instrument, the in, the instru, oh my gosh, the instrumental version of it in the beginning of my video. Uh, I like to do intros. I normally do intros, not always, but usually. Anywho, let's get into some of the things that I wanted to get into earlier, but because of how the video flows, I didn't get enough time to chat about. So first things first, I want to talk about meal prepping. I have wanted to meal prep 
for a very long time now. I think meal prepping is going to make life much easier. Uh, I just, uh, I didn't really have anything uh, to, to use to meal prep. I do have some plastic containers. In fact, you're going to see me clear out the, uh, there's a cabinet in the kitchen that stores most of the food storage containers. Uh, you'll see that it was a disaster. I had to go through that. We'll be heading back into the kitchen, I think two more times in today's video, maybe more, it's a surprise. But most of those food storage containers, those plastic containers are not mine. Uh, they're my mom's. I do have some, but my mom, uh, my mom cooks meals. My mom loves to bake and cook. She just loves to be in the kitchen. So she, I don't ask. She just makes a ton of meals for for my dad and her, but also for our family and my brother. For everyone, really. I think she even makes meals for uh, my father-in-law. Yeah, she does. Just everyone, really. She just wants to feed everybody. <laughs> but she she makes us meals uh, periodically, and that's why I have all those food storage containers. Like I said, most of them aren't mine. But I do have some, but they're not really... They're more so for lunches or little things like snacks. So I didn't really have anything. So I wanted to pick up some meal uh, meal prepping containers, and I found these glass ones. These pure prep. No, let me figure out how to pronounce it. <laughs> Is it Pyrex? I think it's Pyrex. If I'm saying that wrong, I apologize. But anyway, uh, found those. I wanted glass containers, not plastic containers, and I love them. So uh, we're going to clear out one of those cabinets, uh, the food storage container cabinet. Uh, it also is storing the um, some of my son's recipes. Uh, he has a... Uh, uh, I'll talk about it later. I've talked about it before. I'll talk about it later. But it's his recipes. It's uh, the bottom half of the cabinet is his cabinet. And then the top half of the cabinet is for food storage containers. So uh, I, I, I decluttered it and then placed all of those glass containers in that cabinet. So you'll see that a little later on. Uh, this is, oh, so I was working on the uh, cabinet under the sink because that area can get really chaotic really quickly and it was driving me nuts. So I wanted to go through that. Really wasn't much to declutter out of there. I think I just removed one empty uh, Mrs. Meyer spray bottle and a pair of gloves because I got new gloves, rubber gloves, and that was about it. But uh, I really don't like the uh, storage, not the, not my, uh, what's it called? The, the home edit containers, I love those. But there's some Dollar Tree plastic bins under there. I'm not a fan of it. So when we go into the kitchen and we start working on the kitchen again, because uh, I do that every six months, we'll, we'll figure something else out. Uh, I, where was I going with this? So, oh, so I was, uh, the dish tablets, the dish tablets here. Okay. So I went downstairs to grab some dish tablets to fill up, uh, one of my containers for upstairs. Did that make sense? Oh man. And, uh, when, after I was done filling that, I went to this part of the video. These clips are from a while ago. I decided to use this shelf as the overflow shelf. So this is just storing extra toilet paper, paper towels, uh, uh, multi-surface cleaners, sponges, all sorts of stuff. So I'm not, uh, so, my, so my cabinets in the kitchen and the bathroom don't get too congested. Uh, that's just, it, it's not going to be, there's not going to be a lot down there. There will probably most likely never be a lot of overflow stuff because I still like to keep most of my extras in the kitchen and the bathroom, but I just don't want it to be too congested in there. So, uh, yeah, most of what's going to be on that shelf is my laundry products. I bounced all over the place in today's video. I was literally everywhere. 
uh, in today's video going from one room to the next room, from one section to the next section, to cleaning, to decluttering, to organizing, that I was forgetting where I was leaving off. I have to start creating lists before doing large projects like this. I have to start doing that. I have to start writing. I used to, you know, I used to do to-do lists so much more frequently than I do now. Uh, and when I did do uh, lists, when I would make to-do lists or uh, I would have schedules, things just flowed a lot easier. I really have to start doing that, especially with large projects like this. But I forgot to film underneath the sink when I was done decluttering and organizing under the kitchen sink. So that clip where I showed you under the kitchen sink that was just a couple minutes ago. <laughs> I took a break from editing today's video to film that part because I forgot, but I wanted to show you. So, anywho, uh, also uh, I bounced into the smaller bathroom, which is connected to Ian and I's room, and uh, there were some dish pods that were leaking. Uh, that's, I, I showed that earlier, the, uh, there was soap on one of those containers where that were holding the, the dish pods and it's because a couple of them had broke, but there was still product in there. So I thought, why not use them to clean? So I used the broken dish pods to clean the sink in the bathroom. I didn't realize it was that dirty. Oh my. As well as the toilet in that little bathroom. And oh my gosh, did that do a fantastic job. Oh my gosh, my the chrome on that sink, the faucet on that sink in that little bathroom was sparkling. It was shining. I will do that again. Maybe a cleaning hack, who knows, but using dish tablets to clean your sinks, uh, wonderful. <laughs> so anywho, where are we at right now? Uh, okay. So I had to go through this cabinet because this was really driving me nuts. And I know that we're going to be heading into the kitchen probably within the next month or two, uh, because I have an idea for the kitchen. Uh, it actually is not my idea. I got this idea from, uh, well, you know, you, you know who you are. I don't like naming names unless I get permission first. Uh, but thank you so much for, uh, mentioning this to me. It's called, uh, the soup. It's a, what is it called? Supermarket method or, oh, I wrote it down. It's, it's, it's like setting up your kitchen, like a supermarket, but there's a name for it. I want, oh, I want to say it's from the home edit. Uh, don't quote me on any of this. I wrote it down. If I don't write things down, I forget. And then I sound like this. Um, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll go, we'll talk about it in future videos, especially when we go through the kitchen. I, I have my notes. I'll go through all of it, but we're going to set my kitchen up like a supermarket and we're going to, and I'm also going to get more of those home edit containers. Love them. Love them. Uh, that's the only thing that's working under that kitchen sink. I think I said that already, but, uh, anywho. Uh, even though we're going to be heading into the kitchen and doing a, cause I do a massive deep clean declutter and organize every six months in the kitchen, because if I don't, it just, it, it gets too much to manage. I also still have never figured out how to properly organize that kitchen. Organization is something that it's the hardest thing for me when it comes to really anything. Uh, but particularly in that kitchen. And, uh, I've been, I've been researching you guys and, uh, I've been taking in all of your suggestions and ideas and we're, we're, I'm this time I'm thinking, I'm hoping this is going to work. So, but even though we're going to head in there in a little bit, a couple months or so, uh, there's still areas that I, I cannot stand looking at that cabinet with the food storage containers was one of them. Uh, so I went through that. And, uh, yeah, it looked like that. That's all. Why, why are you so long winded Danielle? <laughs> like, seriously, you're so long winded, but my, my, my daughter gets a zoo box each month 
Uh, and my son gets, it's like a chef box each month. What is it called? Why can I never? Kidster, I think is what it's called. My mom, it's my mom, my mom. Wait, if you've been here with me for a while, you know my mom. She loves to shop. She she just does. She's she's a shopper. Uh, it, it's I don't think she'll ever not be a shopper. I don't. I've talked to her about it. We've had conversations. Um, she's she's pretty set in her ways. <laughs> I still try though, but she 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 spoils the kids. Uh, it, my my son Lucas and my daughter Zoe are her only grandchildren. Ryan, if you're listening, you gotta start having kids. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because my mom is, yeah, we've had conversations. It's fine. It's all good. But anywho, she spoils the kids and she gets them each a subscription box each month. So Zoe gets the zoo box, Lucas gets the kidster box. It's a, they're both really cool boxes, but um, he gets a lot of uh, fun cooking stuff. And I put his recipes and stuff that he gets from kidster uh, at the bottom shelf of that food storage cabinet. Again, long winded. It's a good thing it's gonna take me a little bit to show you the, the whole house because I got a couple of things I gotta go over here really quickly and I'm gonna try to make this quick. I wanted to recap the whole house, like everything that we did, but I don't have enough time. Uh, basically, top to bottom, the whole house was cleaned. All the floors were mopped and vacuumed and mopped. Every surface was wiped down, like everything was cleaned. Uh, and then certain areas of the house we organized and decluttered, and this took me a hot minute to finish. <laughs> I lost track of the days. Uh, it was, I think, over a week. It was long. It was a lot. Uh, but this is this is it. This is the house. The only thing I forgot is I wanted to do a little bit of deep cleaning in my son's room, but my son does such a fantastic job keeping his room picked up that there was really nothing for me to do in there. So I just, I wanted to complete the whole house by, I, I just showed you his room. Cause I wanted, I just to show you his room was clean, just to be like, okay, this is a true whole house clean. Cause literally the whole house was cleaned. Anywho, wasn't Mia so cute sitting there? That is her second favorite spot. Mia loves to lay on the corner of the couch, on top of the corner of the couch, or Ian and I's bed. Ian and I's bed is not our bed. It's Mia's bed. Mia's the queen of the house. Well, so is Cleo. Cleo and Mia are the, the queens of the house. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I wish Mia followed me around like Cleo. Cleo, my cat Cleo is my shadow. I so wish Mia would follow me around and be my shadow too. She just doesn't. She she's she's an old girl. She's eleven. Uh, she usually stays by my kids. She she follows them. But anywho, I just wanted to mention that because she was so cute. Uh, what else? Uh, there was a bunch of stuff that I wanted to go over that I don't have enough time to go over. That I I said I was going to go over, but I didn't. I don't think any of it was really that important. I pretty much went through all of the important stuff in today's video. Uh, I do want to mention the next uh, couple of videos, but first I just want to quickly go over everything that was decluttered. This is a bag of towels that Ian, Ian accidentally grabbed uh, towels from up at the cabin. I told him to grab my beach towels. He ended up grabbing Tom's hand towels for the cabin. So Tom had to come over anyway because he had a bag of stuff that he left here. So I gave him his bag and those towels. My mom had a bag here of stuff that she left. My sister-in-law had a bag of stuff that she left here. Uh, it had dinosaurs and a food storage container in it. Uh, so all of that stuff is going back to them. There was a lot of recycling. A lot of the toys uh, were donated. There was quite a bit of stuff that was donated. Uh, there was some new articles of clothing that uh, I have to return. But bottom line is all of it went. Anywho, I, I think I have enough. Um, enough. I think I have everything that I need to make over Zoe's bedroom. I have been wanting to do this bedroom makeover for a long time. I have been planning this. I really think the next video is going to be Zoe's bedroom makeover and I hope you love it. It's, it's going to be on a budget. It's going to be so good. I really hope you like it. We also have to head back to the cabin again soon. I got to head back over to my parents house soon. I got to do work in the backyard. Uh, I want to do like a little mini deck makeover, but also a massive backyard makeover. 
Uh, what else? I'm missing something. Oh, and then soon we're gonna do a fall clean and decorate with me. So lots of fun stuff coming to the channel, but that is it for today's video, everyone. Thank you so much for being here with me. I just love and appreciate you so much. And we will talk to you on the next one. Bye, everyone.